Oh, babe, you had a crush on me. That's embarrassing. We're married. <laughs> Still. E, H, four, M, potato shape, coffee mug shape, smudge, smudge, middle finger, smudge. The rest are all smudges. Oh my God, you drove us here. We made like 100 million doctor's appointments for ourselves in one week. After this, we won't have to go to the doctor for like 10 years. Because we're smart. Well, you definitely need glasses. No, he's not getting glasses. I like his face the way it is. If you get glasses, I'll divorce you. Well, you heard her, Doc. Too handsome for glasses. No offense. Okay, if you're allergic to any food, we'll know in a few days. I think based on the redness, I might be allergic to getting stabbed by needles. We have already been to like five different doctors. Uh, I got my ankles microwaved. X-ray. They took my blood away to use for science. Cholesterol test. April had her sinuses removed. Looked at. Some guy looked at my wiener, touched it. That was weird. And that guy wasn't even a doctor. That... What? Oh. Let's get you home and get me some ice cream. Here's your bill. Oh, yeah, we won't be needing that. I've got the free medicine card. Uh, there's a $500 deductible for dental procedures. Oh, I think uh, you're wrong. We have the insurance thing. I believe we're covered. It's still $500. Let's see here. Oh, because you know what? Let's go! Dinah Dash. Out of the way! Yeah! <laughs> A different ambulance, the one I ran into. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Wait. Not ready, super scared. Andy, you said you wanted to be an action star. This is your chance. Okay. Okay. You, Natalie, follow the action. Whatever. What do I have to do? Just hold up this butter knife to my throat and pretend like you're holding me hostage. What? Ready? I don't know. It seems a little crazy. Oh. Just crazy enough to work. Mikhail Petrov. This is awesomely perfect. Burley just moved in with his rich girlfriend and we need help with the rent. We have a couple house rules though. Yeah, sure, of course. You can't use the front door. You have to climb in through the back window. No personal phone conversations. If you ever speak to me in Spanish, please use the formal usted. And no electricity after 6 p.m. <laughs> She's joking. Okay. You can use as much free electricity as you want. It's free. <laughs> Couple more rules. If you ever watch a sad movie, you have to wear mascara so we can see whether or not you've been crying. There's no noise lot on Mondays and no TV after breakfast. She is lying again. Because yes. it's hard to tell. <laughs> no, we leave the TV on all day long so burglars think that we're home when we're not, which is my idea uh, that I'm trying to patent. So you want to move in tonight? Yeah, sure, that'd be great. You want my gun? Mm -hmm. Eyeballs, rats, bats, vampire teeth. Boom, vampire teeth. Good, spider webs. Done. Mm -hmm. Fake blood capsules. Oh, they didn't have any. Really? That's gross, I love it. <sighs> we are throwing a Halloween party at our house. It's gonna be the greatest thing ever. Someone will die. Of Fun. End of murder. And there's gonna be beer, pumpkins. Bloody goblins. Fake ones. It's gonna be awesome. We have decorations. Dead people that we just murdered. Not murdered, but pictures of dead people from TV or movies. Mutilated bodies. But fake ones. Candy, dancing, tequila, all kinds of food and snacks. Blood orphans. No blood orphans. I... What the hell? Someone's back from London. No, it's not the Queen. Someone's back from London. It's not Mr. Bean. Oh my it's not the royal baby. I think his name is Jim. Stop singing. Kiss me. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing here? I just missed you so bad, honey. I bought myself a ticket home. You're never going to need that computer again. Because I'm home for like 19 hours. This is so sweet. Just like the old days. <laughs> Take a hike, Jerry. It's Larry now. OK. Take a hike, Larry. Morning, Rumi. How'd you sleep? Well, there were no bed bugs. Also, no bed. I'm gonna go buy a bed. Fork. I'm sorry, are you eating turkey chili off of a frisbee? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty cute, right? 
No. Do you know what cute means? What have you got against turkey chili for breakfast? What have you guys got against washing dishes? We don't have any dishes, okay? Burley took them all when he left. Now I bet you feel like a jerk. Oh, God. Okay, I might need to not stay here anymore. No, sorry, dude. We already spent your money on a new Xbox 360 and more Frisbees to eat off of. You gotta stay. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Here's the deal. We're gonna clean this place up, okay? And then I'm going to teach you how to be adults. Cool, we'll get to be adults. Gee golly, thanks, mister. Work. I guess I kind of hate most things, but I never really seem to hate you. So I wanna spend the rest of my life with you. Is that cool? Yes. Is it my turn? Yes. April, you're the most awesome person I have ever known in my entire life. I vow to protect you from danger. I don't care if I have to fight an ultimate fighter or a bear or him, your mom, I would take him down. Andy. I'm getting mad right now even thinking about it. It's I'm okay. telling you. It's okay. I want to spend the rest of my life every minute with you. And I'm the luckiest man in the galaxy. And now the rings. By the power vested in me by the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Don't fly away. Raise the love. OK, all right, so that one is dead. After we drop off the renter's insurance forms, we need to stop by the grocery store, and then we need to sign a suicide pact because our lives are meaningless. Babe, we are not boring people. Would boring people get renter's insurance even though it's not legally required? Where are we? I have never once been to this part of Pawnee. It's the creepy warehouse district. It's mostly just raccoons and old car batteries. Whoa, hang on, pull over. Look at that. This is amazing. Let's go in. It says here there are 12 closets, three bomb shelters, five dumb waiters, two and three eighths baths, no kitchens. It's a fairly standard layout. Cool, is that a staircase to nowhere? Yes, it is. Good eye. What was this place? Remember the Pawnee Dollhead Factory? This was a dollhead factory? No, this was a holding cell for people who went insane on the assembly line. What's behind this door? <gasps> a fire pole. So this place has had zero offers? People seem to be scared off on account of it being haunted and disgusting. After 47 years living here, I decided to move to Orlando to be closer to Disney World. We are responsible adults. You know what that means? I know. We have money and we are going to buy the out of this house. Seriously? Yes. Who needs rental insurance? We're gonna live here. 